Early in the day, this moment is not meant to keep us awake with fear. It is a gift of immeasurable worth, a chance that the Stoic philosophy tells us to get in touch with ourselves and join with the unseen. In the flow of the world, so what makes this time different? Lovely when you wake up, hidden away in a quiet place. It's only there in the early morning of the year. To find the answer, what should you do to feed your soul and improve your physical and mental health? Let's take a better look. Let's learn about Stoicism together and get to know all five of them. Things you should do when you wake up in that wonderful moment. These steps will not only help you get back to peace, but they will also make you stronger and get you ready on the inside so that you have the best attitude and most energy for the new day. You'll be awake in the wee hours of the morning. It shouldn't be seen as a bother or just a sign of stress. Should think of it as an offer instead. You a chance to take a moment. A word from is to listen to and yourself. The universe is telling you that there is a deep inner world that you have yet to discover and improved. But before I start today's show, I want to give you a little task. Don't skip this movie. Watch it all the way to the end. If you're ready, leave a comment saying, I accept the challenge, so we know you're ready for this journey. Number one, say what you want. In the quiet of dawn, when everyone else is still sleeping, we have a sacred moment to connect with the universe and ourselves. Stoic philosophy says that this is our golden chance to discover and release the hidden power within our souls. To do this, one of the most powerful things we can do is write and support personal statements and strong words about our strengths and abilities. These statements are more than just words. They show self-belief, confidence and the drive to rise. By writing them down, we redefine our self-worth and shape the future we want. They are powerful reminders of our hidden strength and ability to handle any challenges life throws at us. Take a look at Emma's story. She works in a very competitive workplace where challenges and work pressure are common. Every morning when Emma wakes up to the serene dawn, she reads a statement to remind herself of her personal power and potential. There is a wall between me and the storms of life, and every challenge I face makes me stronger and more determined. I think I can get through any problem and make every day a new victory. One day, Emma had to work on a tough project with a lot of tricky problems that needed to be solved, while her co-workers were downhearted and scared. Emma thought this was a chance to show off and improve her skills. Emma got the determination and courage to face the challenge by remembering the quote she read every morning. Not only did she find solutions for the project, she also helped her team keep their spirits up, showing that every problem is a chance to learn something and grow stronger. As a result, the project was a huge success and Emma was seen as a leader who could get things done, a strong wall against trouble. Not only did what she said remind her of her inner strength, it also inspired her and those around her to keep going, facing every task with courage and determination through this situation. Emma shows how to follow the basic rules of Stoicism. You are strong not by avoiding problems, but by being able to deal with them and get through them. You can do this by seeing each problem as a chance to learn, grow and be resilient. Grow and be resilient. More importantly, saying these affirmations over and over in the quiet early morning not only helps us feel the power of each word, but it also helps us believe them more deeply in our hearts. This builds mental strength and gives us constant motivation to keep going on our journey with courage and perseverance. In this way, affirmations are not only tools for self-affirmation, but also for facing and overcoming challenges. Seeing every problem as a chance to get better, to be happy and successful, Stoics believe that patience, courage, and constant self-improvement are the keys. So, when you wake up before 5 UK AM, remember that you are not only facing a new day, 
but also a chance to unleash your hidden potential, take charge of your life, and change the future. Use the power of personal affirmations to change yourself and your life, and keep them close to your heart as a strong reminder of this. Everyone, good morning. We're going to talk about an interesting subject today. How waking up before 5 a.m. can change your life. Not only does it mean getting up early, but it also means taking charge of your day, being as productive as possible, and growing as a person. Let's talk about why the early hours are so valuable and how you can make the most of them. Making the most of the quiet hours, there is a peaceful silence that covers everything before the world wakes up. This peace and quiet makes it possible to focus and concentrate without any distractions. Do things that need your full attention during this time, like learning, being creative, or making plans for the next day. It will help your mind stay clear and open to jobs. Setting up a routine for the morning. If you get up before 5 a.m., you have time to make a morning habit that makes you feel good. As part of your routine, do things like exercise, meditation, writing in a notebook, or reading. These habits not only give you energy, but they also make you smarter and happier. Taking charge of your day. When you get up early, you take charge of your day instead of letting outside forces decide what you do. Set goals, make a list of things you need to do, and plan out your day during this time. This gives you the power to face problems effectively and with purpose. Getting more discipline and willpower. You need to be disciplined and committed to get up early, which will help you in other parts of your life. Accept that getting up early is uncomfortable and use it as a chance to improve your willpower and endurance. Over time, you'll be better able to deal with problems and keep working toward your long-term goals. Opening up to personal growth. The early hours are a special time for thinking about yourself and growing as a person. Do things that are good for your mind, body and soul during this time. Spend time doing things that help you grow and get better, like learning a new skill, being grateful or setting goals for the day. To sum up, getting up before 5 a.m. isn't just a way to start the day early. It's also a way to embrace a mindset of productivity, meaning, and personal growth. You can set yourself up for success in every area of your life by making the most of the quiet hours of the morning, creating a useful routine, and taking charge of your day. That's why you should be brave enough to get up before the sun tomorrow morning while everyone else is still sleeping. Number two, try and remember your last dream. In the stillness of the night, when the stars are still in the sky, waking up before five in the morning isn't just a coincidence, it's an invitation from the inner world. Philosophies like Stoicism see these quiet times as a golden chance to connect with endless wisdom and learn more about oneself. The last dream you have isn't just a bunch of fuzzy pictures. It's a message from deep inside your soul telling you how to find yourself and your way. As you wake up, don't worry about how busy the day will be right away. Instead, take some time to be still and think about what you want to do. For example, let's say that in your dream, you are walking on a foggy road and can't see where you're going. But even though you're tired and don't know what's next, you keep going because you know that every step will lead you to new discoveries and a better understanding of yourself. This dream isn't just a bunch of odd pictures. It's a metaphor for the path of self-discovery and growth. It stresses how important it is to keep going, even when it's not clear what to do next. Like in a dream, each step is part of a bigger plan, a big picture in which every little thing is important but dreams don't just tell you to accept and enjoy the journey. They also tell you to imagine and shape the future, not just for yourself, but for everyone else too. By remembering and thinking about your dreams, 
you can find inspiration and strength to deal with problems. To help you keep working on yourself and make positive changes in your life, let's look at the story of James, a philosophy fanatic who is always looking for inner peace. One night, around 3 a.m., James woke up feeling a strange calmness around him while he was half awake and half dreaming. James thought back to the dream he had just had. He was standing in front of a long, winding road that went off into the horizon. Each step echoed softly, and even though he didn't know what was coming next, James didn't feel scared or worried. Instead, he felt determined and interested. Each step was not only progress along the road, but also a journey of self-discovery. James understood that we are all on a journey to find happiness and meaning in our lives, whether we are awaki or dreaming. Each step on this journey is important and has value. The next morning, Jamie's wrote about his dreams and emotions in his journal through this. James realized that dreams are not just meaningless images, but powerful messages about continuing to move forward, even without knowing what lies ahead. Dreams serve as inspiration for James to pursue his passions and goals in life, always remembering that every moment of waking up in the middle of the night is not just an opportunity for self-reflection, but also a reminder of the inherent strength and ability to overcome internal challenges. So the lesson that Stoicism wants to convey here is that every dream and every thought holds valuable values and lessons guiding you on the journey to find meaning and happiness in life. The moment of waking up in the middle of the night is not only a time to reflect on dreams, but also an opportunity for you to reshape the future to continue writing your story with determination and resilience under the light of a new dawn. It is a reminder that in any circumstance, inner strength and the ability to introspect question and seek answers within oneself are always the keys to unlocking the door to freedom and happiness. Greetings to all and welcome to this lecture on the intriguing connection between remembering our dreams and rising early. Have you ever woken up earlier than five in the morning and found yourself remembering a dream you had during the previous night? Then you are not by yourself. For ages, scientists, psychologists and spiritualists have been fascinated by this occurrence. We'll examine the causes of this phenomenon and consider its importance today. Body, recognizing the sleep cycle. Our sleep happens in cycles, one of which is called REM, rapid eye movement sleep, during which most of our dreams take place. REM sleep usually occurs later in the sleep cycle, usually toward the early morning. Dream recollection may be facilitated by waking up earlier than 5 a.m., which happens to coincide with the end of a REM cycle. Brain activity in the morning. According to research, there may be differences in brain activity between the early morning and other times of the day. Our brains change states when we wake up from sleep to wakefulness, which can start processes related to memory consolidation, including dream recall. Cortisol's function, the stress hormone. Cortisol, which helps in awakening, surges in the early morning hours. Higher cortisol levels may improve memory retrieval, which would facilitate recalling dreams from the previous REM cycle. Being aware and mindful. It usually takes intentional effort to wake up early, which increases awareness and mindfulness. We might be more conscious of our dreams as a result, which would help us remember them better when we wake up. Developing dream recollection. Try writing down your dreams as soon as you wake up and keep a dream notebook by your bed. Before going to bed, practice relaxation techniques to improve the quality of your sleep and the recall of your dreams. Try out various sleep routines to see which one helps you remember your dreams the best. In conclusion, waking up earlier than five in the morning 
presents a special chance to use Dream Recall to delve into the depths of our subconscious. By deciphering the subtleties of our hormone swings, brain activity and sleep cycles, we can use the power of early rising to unravel the secrets of our dreams. The next time you find yourself up before the sun comes up, go back on the dreams that have lingered in your memory. You never know what insightful revelations they might contain. I appreciate you coming to the lesson with me today. Number three, meditate. When you can't remember your dreams, you don't know what to do. So meditate instead of pushing yourself to go back to sleep. This will serve as a helpful reminder from your innermost self that you can explore a calm place and spiritual force during this quiet period between three and five in the morning when everyone else is still asleep. As darkness recedes and light has not yet spread, meditation is not only a silent act, but also a doorway to inner space where we can establish profound connections with both ourselves and the invisible energy of the cosmos. In that calm place where we not only allow ourselves to freely explore, but also allow every worry and tension to step aside to make room for tranquility and wisdom, Meditation becomes a reflective process that helps us accept and appreciate every thought and every complex emotion hidden in our souls. In the context of early morning meditation, focusing on the breath and feeling, each inhalation and exhale as a symbol of life and the connection between oneself and the surrounding world becomes immensely important. This not only helps calm the mind and reduce distractions, but also helps us realize that amidst countless fluctuations, there is a peaceful space that always exists within each person's soul. This creates a mental space where our inner voice of strength and peace resonates strongly. Stoic philosophy places a strong emphasis on accepting and persevering in the face of adversity rather than running away from it. Not only is early morning meditation a mental workout, but it's also a ritual to celebrate inner strength, motivating oneself to keep moving forward on the path to self-improvement and liberation from three to five in the silent times. Every meditation practice not only provides us with profound serenity, but also gives us the resilience to overcome obstacles and mentally prepares us to face each day with courage and steadfast determination. Trust. When we take the time to meditate, we not only seek peace, but also clarity and a clear vision of ourselves and the life we are building. In the quiet moments of the approaching dawn, when you awaken between three and five. In the morning, meditation is not just an action, but also an invitation to explore deeply within. At this time, meditation is also a means of honoring the moment, recognizing the value of presence and the preciousness of each existing moment. It is a reminder of harmony and balance between the soul and the external world, between peace and the intricacies of existence. You can make the deepest connection possible with the soul, the source of all energy, during this ideal moment for meditation. Imagine yourself sitting on your living room floor in the gentle light of the gradually approaching dawn with no lights on. Stoicism places a strong emphasis on using silence and introspection to strive for inner tranquility and self-awareness. You find that every sound in the gentle wind is deeply calming you as you start to meditate. To begin, just concentrate on your breathing, allowing the cold air to enter and the heat to exit your body. There's nothing to worry about, no work problems, no plans for tomorrow. Just you and your breath, a flawless and pure existence. When you meditate and hear the sounds of early waking animals through the crack in the door, it helps you feel more connected to the natural world and the universe. This is the time when you not only find peace, but you also find the answers to the questions you have about life and yourself. Such an early morning meditation is not just a mental workout, 
but also a ritual of rejuvenation that helps you restructure your energies, thoughts, and emotional condition for the coming day. It's the ideal way to begin a purposeful and independent day in the true spirit of Stoicism. Thus, engaging in morning meditation between 3 and 5 is not only a mental workout but also a continuation of the Stoic heritage, which is a way to strengthen oneself and get ready for a new day full of hope and confidence. Take this moment for yourself to connect, to seek the peace and inner strength that Stoic philosophy always advises us to aim for. As you feel the change and see the light of inner freedom shining like, share this video to help everyone find their path in the journey of exploration and conquering the inner self. Every minute spent in meditation not only brings us tranquility, but also an endless source of inspiration, helping us face life's challenges with a resilient spirit and an unwavering will. We're going to explore the life-changing habit of rising earlier than five in the morning and practicing meditation today. This seemingly uncomplicated behavior can have a significant impact on our spiritual, mental, and emotional health. Let's examine the reasons behind this practice's potency and how it can improve our life. Recognizing the importance of rising before five in the morning. Regaining control over your time and establishing a positive outlook for the day ahead are two other benefits of rising before 5 a.m. Deep reflection and meditation are most commonly facilitated by the quiet of the early morning hours. This period of time allows for more attention and clarity because there are fewer interruptions and distractions. The meditation technique, training the mind to reach a condition of inner calm, clarity and attention is the practice of meditation, which dates back hundreds of years. We provide an example for the rest of the day by starting our meditation early. It supports us in developing a sense of equilibrium and serenity that gets us through even the busiest schedules. It has been demonstrated by science that meditation lowers stress, increases focus and improves general well-being. We are setting the stage for a more contented and happy existence by implementing it into our morning routine. How to create a morning routine for meditation? A. Make your intention clear. Decide why you wish to meditate and get up before 5 in the morning. Whether your goal is to improve productivity, lessen stress or promote personal development, knowing what your exact aim is can keep you motivated. B. Begin gradually. If you're not used to rising early, begin by setting your alarm for only 15 to 30 minutes earlier than normal and then progressively increase the time until you get up before 5 a.m. C. Establish a favorable atmosphere. Pick a peaceful, cozy area for your meditation routine. If listening to soothing music or dimming the lights can help you focus and unwind. D. Select a meditation method. There are a variety of meditation methods available, such as guided visualization, loving-kindness meditation, and mindfulness meditation. Try out several methods until you find one that works for you. Uh, have patience and stick with it. Just like any habit, practicing meditation and rising early takes practice. Practice self-compassion and dedication to regularity. Don't give up even if you skip a day or two. Simply continue where you left off and press on. Practicing meditation and rising earlier than five in the morning can transform our lives and enable us to live with more joy, intention, and present. We can develop inner serenity, resiliency, and fulfillment in our daily lives by making this small but significant promise to ourselves. Number four, practice gratitude. Do you realize that the hours of three to five in the morning are not only perfect for peace and quiet, but also a fantastic chance to practice gratitude? When you awaken in this atmosphere, even though you may not have chosen to wake up, turn it into a meaningful moment 
and take a few minutes to reflect on everything you can be grateful for. This not only helps create an immediate sense of peace, but also provides a positive energy source, preparing your mind for a new day full of hope and potential. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of recognizing and appreciating everything in life, from significant events to small daily joys. Picture a situation. Nothing can take your mind away from the overwhelming sense of peace and happiness that surrounds you as you slowly open your eyes and take in the quiet stillness of the sleeping house. The soft melody of your loved one's steady breathing beside you resonates like a gentle embrace, bringing warmth and tranquility. In that peaceful moment, let your soul gently embrace the feeling of gratitude like gentle waves lapping at the shore. I'm thankful for the tranquility and warmth I am experiencing, as well as the safety and affection I feel from others in my life. I am also thankful for the new day that lies ahead of me, full of possibilities and challenges to face. This is not just an awareness of life's beauty, but also a process of self-discovery and affirmation. It's a crucial step in the journey of personal development toward creating a meaningful, happy, and love-filled life. Gratitude in the heart and soul is like a guiding light, illuminating the path ahead and helping you see the true value of life and the latent power within each of us. Each word is not only an acknowledgement and appreciation of the good things in life, but also a reminder and affirmation of the noble values and inner strength you possess. Possesses the capacity to move past any obstacle or problem by using faith and optimism. Not only is it a good habit to practice gratitude every morning, but it also develops into a significant spiritual ritual that helps you re-establish a deeper connection with the world and yourself. By doing this, you not only increase your awareness and appreciation of life, but you also create a source of positive energy that pushes away any negative emotions, weariness, and anxiousness. Gratitude creates a mental space where you can value and acknowledge everything, even setbacks, as necessary steps on the path to self-improvement and happiness. In this sense, Gratitude serves as both a self-improvement lesson and a never-ending source of inspiration for a meaningful and bright life lived in the spirit of Stoicism. If this video has taught you anything, please share it by leaving a comment below that shows gratitude. We set out on a journey to investigate the life-changing possibilities of practicing thankfulness and rising before five in the morning. This straightforward yet profound practice might be a ray of hope in our hectic world. Recognizing the enchantment of early morning's talk about the mental and physical advantages of rising early. The golden hour is the period before 5 a.m. when the mind is most open to good stimuli. Gratitude, the secret to prosperity. Explain the meaning of gratitude and its role in cultivating an optimistic outlook. Examine the results of scientific studies on the advantages of gratitude, such as enhanced resilience and mental health. Creating your morning routine. Encourage students to plan their morning schedules so that they can include practicing appreciation and rising before five in the morning. Provide ideas for journaling, meditation, or just taking a moment to count your blessings. Useful Success Suggestions Give tips on how to deal with the difficulties of rising early, like setting several alarms, getting ready the night before, and gradually modifying sleep cycles. Stress how crucial consistency is to forming this habit, feeling the shift. Give personal tales or success stories of people who have adopted thankfulness and early mornings, highlighting the beneficial effects on their life. Students should be encouraged to consider the lessons they learned and the experiences they have had from using this technique. As our lesson comes to an end, 
Keep in mind how powerful it is to make the decision to practice thankfulness and get up before five in the morning. By fostering this practice, we develop an attitude of abundance and gratitude in addition to establishing the tone for the day. Let's seize the chance for development and fulfillment that comes with every morning. I appreciate you coming along on this trip with me, and I hope you have many happy and thankful mornings. Number five, practice journaling. The silent time before 5 a.m. in the morning is not only a precious moment of the new day, but it's also a chance for you to spend some quality time with yourself. Stoic philosophy always appreciates this time as a means of facilitating introspection and personal growth. Journaling about your feelings and ideas at this moment might help you become more aware of yourself and guide your soul into the next day with a peaceful spirit and an optimistic outlook. Choose your favorite A journal is an apparently insignificant item that has the power to change a person's soul. When you use one, you're creating a space where you can talk to yourself in private. Each page serves as a friend who will listen to all of your thoughts and feelings without passing judgment in the peaceful early morning hours when time seems to stand still. Writing turns into a holy ritual to clear your head and concentrate on the things that really count. In the tranquility of early morning when you wake up in a heavy and foggy state of mind, journaling becomes a gateway to self-liberation. Let your mind run freely and write without worrying about being perfect in terms of language or grammar. This helps you open up more to yourself and explore the deepest corners, desires and worries that you may have never dared to face before. Through each line, you are not only recording your thoughts and feelings, but also engaging in a self-healing action, releasing pressures and tensions you may be facing. May express hazy unease, but soon you start to identify the source of that unease. It could be the unbearable pressure of work or anonymous worries about a personal relationship that is teetering on uncertainty. With every word and sentence written down, a process of self-explanation unfolds, helping you not only gain clarity about what is causing you anxiety, but also laying the groundwork for the next steps. These include setting specific goals to deal with work-related pressures, seeking acceptance, and adjusting your mood in the face of personal relationship difficulties. This not only enables you to face challenges bravely, but it also opens the door to inner peace and autonomy. Stoic philosophy tells us that the secret to overcoming obstacles in life is to have inner strength and self-control. Writing in a journal in the morning like way fosters and enhances your capacity for self-awareness and self-understanding. As a result, journaling in the morning becomes essential to living and growing in accordance with Stoic ideals. It's not only a tool for introspection and self-awareness, it's also a crucial step towards leading a self-directed, meaningful and happy life. With every page of the journal, you're not only documenting your day-to-day -day activities, but also writing your own narrative of growth, a narrative of achieving independence and spiritual freedom, even when dawn is still in the dark. Getting up before five in the morning is frequently linked to success, discipline and productivity. Adopting this practice can change your life in significant ways, even though it could feel overwhelming. Journaling is a useful habit to go along with rising early. We can track our progress toward our goals, establish intentions for the day and reflect on our experiences through writing. We'll discuss the advantages of rising before five in the morning in this class, as well as how writing might support this routine. Recognizing the advantages of rising early. A. Enhanced productivity. Getting up early allows for uninterrupted time for personal growth or concentrated work. B. Mental clarity. Making decisions and solving problems are made easier when one has a clear head at the beginning of the day. C. Improved discipline. Waking up early necessitates discipline and can give one a feeling of control and accomplishment over their day. D. 
better health. Research indicates that early risers typically have better general health and sleep quality than night owls. Creating a morning routine. A. Decide on a consistent wake-up time. Even on weekends, choose a time before 5 a.m. and adhere to it. A. Practice mindfulness. Center yourself throughout the day by practicing yoga, meditation, or deep breathing techniques. C. Exercise to increase vitality and enhance general well-being, including physical activity in your morning routine. D. Nutritious breakfast to boost your metabolism and provide you energy for the entire day. Fuel your body with a healthy breakfast, including journaling in your daily routine. A. Set aims, list your objectives and aims for the day at the start of each journaling session. B. Consider your gratitude. Give a brief thought to your blessings and possibilities in life. C. Monitor your progress. Keep a journal to record your successes, failures and life lessons. D. Generate ideas. Use journaling as a creative outlet to generate concepts, answers to problems or brand new initiatives. A few pointers for successful journaling. A. Be regular. Try to journal every day, ideally in the morning. B. Be honest. Write openly and judgment-free about your ideas, emotions and experiences. C. Try different forms. See what works best for you by experimenting with several journaling forms, such as bullet journaling, free writing or gratitude journaling. D. Review and reflect. Make time on a regular basis to go over your diary entries and consider how you've changed and evolved over time. Getting up before five in the morning can be a life-changing habit that provides chances for improved well-being, personal development and productivity. Setting goals, monitoring your progress and encouraging introspection are all made possible by adding writing to your morning routine. Accept the power of rising early and keeping a journal to reach your full potential and lead a more meaningful life. In addition to being times of relaxation, waking up before five in the morning offers you the chance to delve into and put into practice the profound inner serenity that comes with following the teachings of Stoicism. You are doing more than just sowing the seed of your identity when you take these steps. Daily self-improvement coupled with strengthening your bonds with others and the environment around you are important aspects of the self-development process, but it never ends. We cordially invite you to join our community on this adventure. Tell us about your experiences using these activities in a comment activities or other ideas you'd like to discuss with Stoic philosophy. Finally, if you're not already a part of our family, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our videos together. If you find this video beneficial, please feel free to share it with your loved ones or anybody you know who could benefit from these lessons. To build a more purposeful and happy life, we will keep studying and putting the insightful teachings of Stoic philosophy to use in our day-to-day -day activities. When this video ends, press to view the next ones. We appreciate your time spent here with us today. Never forget that each and every morning, you have the chance to exercise self-control and are reminded of your limitless potential as you seek inner strength and tranquility. I'll check. In the upcoming videos, thanks for watching.